after looking at reliability block diagrams in this lecture for system representation, we are going to look at a different method, uh, that of cut sets and particularly the minimal cut sets. Uh, the block diagrams uh, were a success-oriented approach uh, to represent the system and cut sets uh, is are, are kind of failure oriented in the sense that we try to identify uh, all those elements that must fail in order for the system to fail. So let's let's define them. Uh, a set of elements is a cut set if the failure of all members of that cut set uh, causes system failure. Uh, now, a cut set therefore is a parallel arrangement of its members and these cut sets are arranged in series. So, uh, you see the system failure event is the union of all the, all the cut sets. Now, a minimal cut set is a very useful and efficient way of looking at cut sets. Uh, it's a cut set if it loses any of its members uh, and uh, it doesn't remain a cut set is a minimal cut set. So we try to identify minimal cut sets uh, in all situations and work with them. So uh, let's define CI, the ith minimal cut set in terms of its constituents. So uh, say cut set I has I sub M members uh, and they are Fi1, Fi2 all the way up to Fi M. So they are all arranged in parallel and we, if we want to work with them further, we can associate uh, the, the state of the element uh, Eij uh, for each member of cut set I. Uh, each minimal cut set behaves like a purely parallel system and uh, typically elements are repeated across cut sets. So even if the elements are independent, uh, uh, because of uh, the same element showing up in more than one cut set, uh, the, the minimal cut sets are not necessarily uh, mutually independent. Uh, so that needs to be kept in mind. Now, along with the cut set, there is a dual way of defining, of representing systems, and that is through path sets. Uh, so if we just switch the logic, a set of elements is a path set if the survival of all members uh, of that path sets imply system survival. And uh, just like uh, the, the cut sets uh, where a parallel arrangement of its members, a path set is a series arrangement and the path sets themselves are arranged in parallel. And just like we had uh, the minimal cut set, we also have the minimal path set, which as you have guessed, uh, if uh, any member is removed from the path set and it stops being a path set, then it is a minimal path set to begin with. Uh, in structural reliability, uh, we uh, do not really uh, work so much with path sets. Uh, it's much more intuitive to look at cut sets and minimal cut sets. So uh, we are not going to uh, focus any more uh, on, um, on the path set approach. Uh, although in today's example, there will be one or two cases where I will also uh, discuss them, starting with the, the next. Uh, so let's look at this very simple three element system. What you see is a reliability block diagram and let us uh, find out its uh, path sets and cut sets and identify those that are minimal. So uh, it's quite straightforward for this simple system that uh, element one must work uh, for the system to work uh, and at least one of the elements uh, two and three have to work uh, in order for the system to work. So the path sets of the system are one comma two, uh, the, paths, the next one is one comma three 
and we could also have the entire set one two three now uh, i'm sure you have been able to guess which ones are the minimal path sets uh, the first one because if we remove any one of them uh, it no longer remains a path set the second one is also uh, a minimal path set uh, so these first two that i have marked with the red arrows are the minimal path sets but the third one is not a minimal path set uh, we can also identify the cut sets and it's not necessary that the number of path sets and number of cut sets have to be the same so uh, the first uh, cut set is one obviously if one uh, fails then the system fails uh, two three would also be another uh, cut set uh, one two would be uh, the third cut set uh, we could have more uh, we could uh, have one three and we could have one two and three uh, and now which one of these are minimal cut sets obviously one is a minimal cut set uh, two three is also a minimal cut set because if we remove either one of them two or three then it no longer remains a cut set and these two are the only minimal cut sets all the others are not minimal